it had been holidays or summer break and uh, we will start for the next month and the session will be opened today by a lot of nice actors. So hello to everyone. Hello. And who is here for the first time? My name is Carmen, Carmen Stadelhofer. I'm the head of Eloy and the coordinator of Danube Networkers. And I'm very happy to see you all and to be with you connected uh, in this session. And I hope we will have a lot of fun together. As you know, the session is made for to be together with friends and to get to new friends. And so it's a good tradition to present ourselves, to know a little bit who is in this session and to be able to get all the in contact after. So as I said, my name is Carmen, coming from Ulm, and today I greet you from Sardinia. Well, hello, hello everybody. I am very, very happy to see you here after the break. And we have prepared, as usual, a very, very interesting and beautiful program for you. Uh, we will enjoy many beautiful songs this time and presentation and the topic wedding surprisingly dominates the session we didn't expect but for some reason we received uh, many contributions about the wedding it's a very interesting topic so uh, we are excited we will start the session with uh, the song from uh, Romania Mama Dulce Mama Mea about the mother it's a Romanian folk song performed by Elena Stefanuc. Um, then we'll learn more about Bulgarian wedding traditions and a video made by Veska Uzunova. We saw her today already and her theater group uh, from Slivopole. And uh, she will present it together with Emilia Velikova. Um, then we will hear, um, okay, I have to hear some side noises. Then we will hear um, a traditional Ukrainian wedding song performed. Um, and I have to say today we have the honor to have a professional opera singer with us, Oksana Akaiva from Ulm. Um, and uh, the first, one of the first contributions from Ukraine. So we're very, very excited and very happy to greet her. And then we will discover, hopefully we will discover uh, women's history and street names because uh, Gita, who is presenting is right now having some problems with um, the with the video but maybe we'll be able to do it via microphone if it's not going to get better. After that uh, we are going to hear the award-winning <laughs> uh, from Moldova. Peta Dorada is here with us and she will perform Okay. Okay, now it should work. Uh, so um, then we will uh, see um, a video presentation of a Ukrainian Orthodox Church from uh, Irina Zelihovska uh, from Shortkiv in Ukraine. This is the sister of Oksana Arkaeva. Uh, she, for us, especially for this session, she made a video that we will show you. And at the end of the session, we will together try to sing a song yet yet you might recognize from the previous sessions. It's Ale fangt an, or Let Us Begin in different languages. And we really hope that Sigpa Schlo, who is with us, will help us to sing it as the last time. And after that, we will evaluate the session with the Mentimeter tool. I will show you how it works uh, once again, for those of you who don't know it. So now it's time to start finally. I will, uh, I'm introducing Elena Stefanut from Cluj Napoca, Romania, with the song Mama Dulce, Mama Mio, Sweet Mother, My Mother. Elena, you're welcome. Yes. My name is Elena Stefanut, după cum am prezentat, și voi cânta pentru dumneavoastră o priceasnă. Este dedicată mamei, tuturor mamelor, și chiar și mamei cele mai mari dintre mame. Sfintei Marie Fecioara. Este un cântec dedicat mamei creștine care se roagă pentru copilul ei. Mamă dulce, mama mea, 
Domnul Harului să-ți dea. El în veci voi mulțumi, Că mut mai știut iubit. Mamă, dulce mama mea, Viață în lume când mi-ai dat, Tu m-ai binecuvântat, Rugându-te lui Hristos Să mă facă credincios. Dar eu, mamă, cum creșteam, De Hristos mă îndepărtam, Calea Sfântă n-am iubit, Vorba ți-am nesocotit. Mamă, dulce mama mea, Eu râdeam spre lumea dea, Ție inima splângea, Iar când Domnul s-a îndurat, Lânsul tău l-a ascultat, A mea inimă s-a frânt, Și-am spus Sfântul legământ, Mamă, dragă mama mea, Eu în veci îți sunt dator Și îți voi mulțumi cu dor. Mulțumesc că m-ați ascultat cu voi pentru, pentru voi cu mare drag. Bravo. Now everybody is silent so uh, you can only hear me clapping. <laughs> But thank thanks a lot. I would ask Otilia mm -hmm. to explain a little bit in English about the song. This was a song. Um, so I will say a little bit about the song what um, Mrs. Uh, Stefanut said at the beginning. 
She said that this is a song actually dedicating to dedicated to all mothers in the world, but especially it is dedicated to the Saint Mary, the mother of Jesus. And this is also a song which we also sing in a, in a church as a yeah, dedication to the Saint Mary because we pray in the church with the Orthodox people. We pray to the Saint Mary and to Jesus. And this is why we also have um, songs like this. Но предимно за майката на Исус Христос в църквата, специално в ортодоксалните църкви. Uh, thank you, Emily. I uh, forgot some, something very important. We have in this session a translation function. And as we see now that uh, we need it actually uh, for Romanian and I think for Bulgarian as well, Emily. Would you would you translate I tried, to Bulgarian? I tried, but I didn't uh, hear anything. Because uh, I think the problem is that you will have to present as well and then translate. So I think let's start with the with the Romanian and then we will try to switch to Bulgarian later. So Otilia will be translating. And uh, Otilia, you have to explain to all the Romanian guests that they have to click on this button and choose the uh, Portuguese language because there is no channel for Romanian and then they will hear Atelia inside the channel. Say it in Romanian for the Romanian people. Yes. Ok. Ok. Deci vă spune în românește. Există o funcție de traducere în care vă pot traduce ce se vorbește în engleză sau eventual în germană și pentru a putea auzi ce vă traduc eu Trebuie în josul ecranului o să vedeți un, un glob pământesc, e așa ca un, ca un simbol, ca un glob pământesc și trebuie să alegeți limba portugheză pentru că e puțin ciudat, nu e limba română pentru că limba română nu există în Zoom și există doar câteva limbi, cinci limbi străine. Și dacă alegeți limba portugheză, o să auziți puțin pe fundal vorbindu-se original, adică ce vorbesc persoanele în germană sau în engleză și pe mine o să mă auziți vorbind românește și traducându-vă când e cazul. Deci cine vrea uh, să acceseze acel simbol? Și dacă nu-l vedeți, vă rog să scrieți în chat, dacă că nu-l găsiți sau că nu puteți sau... Ok? The next contribution is from Bulgaria. Uh, we are very happy to welcome here Veska and Emily. Their contribution relates to the All Bulgarian Engagement Ceremony. It is a video prepared by the theater group of Slivopole and it will show you the uh, the traditional, the old traditional engagement ceremony in Bulgaria. Um, I don't know how uh, you want to do it. Maybe um, if Veska wants to say some words or Emily, Emily, uh, the floor is yours and then you can decide. Veska, do you want to say something with this video that we will show you for the Veska is muted. При всяка девойка, която ще се омъжва, тя взема с Богом, с своите родители, а, с най-вече с баба си, с дядо си и баба й казва така, когато отидеш в новата къща, първо ще кажеш на бъдещата си свекърва майко и ще й целуниш ръка. Това Добре. показва нашата, нашото видео. Добре. И уважението към новата, към девойката, която влиза в новия дом. Ама детето, защо не го казва на перфекция на английски? Ама детето отиде на разходка и го няма. Добре. Тя ще дойде, ако в момента продължава още предаването и те са тук, ще кажат няколко думи. Слива по леми и си бали ти, аз год 20 клапс with pensioners more than uh, 600 and uh, they organize a very different uh, many many and different activities for uh, education of uh, pensioners and uh, this is one part which is especially intergenerational learning they include uh, young people and also their parents to keep uh, historical and cultural Uh, treasures of uh, the Danube region. 
in uh, one of these activities is uh, social theater where participants, they are of course audience, but many are from many are participants in this theater. So this is reaction, uh, uh, this is recreation of uh, old customer wedding, and Vesco said that um, uh, the girl who will be engaged, uh, who will be married, the, say goodbye to her parents. And uh, they said to her that the first thing uh, which uh, she has to say when you go in another house, in the house of uh, the husband, uh, she has to say the, to the mother-in-law and to father-in-law to say mother and father, like their real parents, real parents of her. So this is one uh, respect. Uh, this theater we, we used uh, especially for training of young people, respect to, uh, to elderly, respect to all people around. Thank you, Emily. And now I will ask Ellie to play the video. We're very excited. So we thanks a lot for this beautiful video. It was, was really amazing. I think I also learned a lot about the traditions. I think where I come from in Russia, there, there is, um, you know, the, we have some common traditions and that's what I found so beautiful about the Come Together sessions that we discover so many similar things about our culture. So thanks a lot, Veska. Thanks a lot, Emily, for your presentation. It was very interesting. And now we go on 
uh, to our special guest today, uh, Oksana Akaeva, uh, who is going to be performing a Ukrainian traditional wedding song. Oksana Arkaeva uh, is originally from Ukraine, as you already heard, but she lives in Ulm, Germany. Uh, she's a cultural uh, manager and organizer, and she as well as an opera singer. So we have the, uh, the possibility right now to enjoy her beautiful voice, and I will pass to Oksana. <laughs> well, hello to everyone. Um, thank you, Victoria, for this introduction. So I just can add that besides culture management and uh, concert and opera singer, I'm also an opera critic and a trainer in public presentation. For the last three years, I also produce my own uh, theater, music theater performances. So um, thank you for the invitation and I'm happy to, to talk about my uh, Ukrainian heritage. And tonight I would like to sing for you an Ukrainian folk song, but first let's uh, talk about where in Ukraine this song is coming from. Most likely it comes from the area in Ukraine where the folk's minority Lemkos lived. The name originates from the word Lem, which translates as an only. Historically, historically Lemkos lived approximately from the 4th century till up to 1918 in the areas situated primarily in the present day Poland, in Western Ukraine, in Subcarpathian provinces and present Slovakia. Starting from 1772 and until 1946, Lemkos first were made to be a part of the Austrian population in Galicia province of the Austro-Hungarian Empire and later they involuntarily mm, become involved in political power struggle between West and Soviet Union. As a result, the forcible deportation of Ukrainians from Poland to the previously German territories in northern Poland, which why maybe in Germany we meet a lot of Lemkes, uh, or to Soviet Union. Large Lemkes population have immigrated in the late 50s, 1950s to US. Some of the famous representatives are writer Thomas Bell and major pop art artist Andrew Warhol. The Lemkos call themselves Rusnachi or simply Russians. Many believe that their ancestors came from Kiev, Russia. Other Lemkos claim to be descendants of white Croatian, whatever it means. Their language is a dialect of Carpathian Russian, which is one of the East Slavic languages. The majority of them belong to East Catholic Church of the Byzantine Rite and minority is committed to Orthodox Church. But now let's talk about the song. Behind the barn, which in Ukrainian sounds like Zanashov Stodolov, is a traditional Ukrainian bridal or wedding song. I, it will, I will first present you with translation, then perform it, and after I will talk a bit about its actual meaning. So now come the translation. Behind our barn, I can see another village. Whenever I look, I see only this village. My dear mother, whom you want me to get married to. You know that he doesn't love me and will be the hell out of me. Let me to get married to one I love, cause even if he'll beat me, I will not tell anyone. So my mother allowed me to get married to someone I wanted and the whip swayed over my white body again and again, turning it into a black one. But my mother never found out about it. So now I will sing it. It's not a, it's not, it's not an aria, so it's just a simple <laughs> folk song. Za našo stodolo vitko čuže selo, za našo stodolo vitko čuže selo, oj, sjude povernuse, tude povernuse, vidno čuže selo, sjude povernuse, tude povernuse, vidno čuže selo. Mamciu ž moja, mamciu, za koho nja daješ? Mamciu ž moja, mamciu, za koho ž nja daješ? Vin bude, vin nja bude biti, ne bude ljubiti, za koho nja daješ? Vin nja bude biti, ne bude ljubiti, za koho nja daješ? 
Віддай мене, мамо, за кого я хочу. Віддай мене, мамо, за кого я хочу. Він буде любити, а як буде бити, нікого не скажу. Він буде любити, а як буде бити, нікому не скажу. Віддалання мамця, за кого б хотіла. Віддалання мамця, за кого б хотіла. Шуміла нагайка, шуміла нагайка, коло мого тіла. Шуміла нагайка, шуміла нагайка, коло мого тіла. Шуміла нагайка, те ще й ся звивала. Шуміла нагайка, та ще й ся звивала. Тіло почорніло, біле почорніло, мамочка не знала. Тіле почорніло, біле почорніло, мамочка не знала. As well, you cannot hear anybody clapping because everybody's okay. muted. <laughs> Let's, Let's continue because we don't have so much time. Is it okay? I will tell something about the song. Yes, yes, okay? right. I'm okay. Thanks. <laughs> so as you could hear, the song sounds uh, as a joyful, a danceable one. But uh, when we take a close look at the text, we experience a sad story of a young woman who is about to get married and is choosing the best evil out of two available to her. Already now she knows that her life in marriage will not be a happy one. So to get at least a little bit of happiness out and joy out of it, she asks to marry someone who she loves. So even if he mistreats her, it would be still better than to be married to the one she doesn't love. In fact, it is incredible to experience the strong will of this young woman who despite the unhappy circumstances still tries to determine her future, unfortunately. As we can read and hear from media and newspapers, the problem of home aggression against women is still existing and is not confined only to Ukraine. Fortunately, thanks to feminist movement, education, working opportunities, equal equality laws and democracy, the life of women in the last hundred years has improved a lot, which hopefully will continue to happen in the future. For now, thank you very much for your attention. And thank you for uh, inv invitation to this round. And if somebody would like to learn about me and what I do, I will put the name of my website in the chat. I hope it's okay for you, Victoria. Yes, of course. <laughs> and uh, for now, bye bye and do pobacenia. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Oksana. It was a beautiful song, but it was also a beautiful ending. Uh, when you talked about women, we have a a beautiful, um, you know, uh, continuation and beautiful, um, uh, you know, connection between the two different contributions, because the next <laughs> one is about uh, women as well and the visibility of women. Because as you said, um, the problem of, um, you know, um, when, when, when we talk about feminism, these movements, they develop still in countries like Ukraine, for example, or Russia. And um, when people talk about Germany, for example, they think um, maybe here those problems are solved, but it's not true because the visibility of women is um, a very important topic. And I saw that uh, Gitti Duong uh, has solved the problems with her camera. Now it's, everything is working very well. And I will give the word to her because she will talk about women's history in street names and her research on this topic, her uh, research and the research of her group. So Gitti, the floor is yours. Hello, I'm Gitti Duong. I excuse me, but I had to change the computers now I'm at my husband's computer because Michelle Duong, <laughs> it's another name. And so I excuse me that I disturbed with the micro. I didn't see, I didn't realize that the micro was on during I changed the computer, excuse me. <laughs> so I, I would like to present you uh, our working group from 
uh, from uh, search, researches for women who have enriched human history. This working group, the Women's History, exists at Zaviv, where Carmen had been director for a very long time. And I take part for a very long time also in that working group for over 20 years already. We, the participants, have aged with the numerous projects, but a few new members have joined us in the meantime. Our interest and our research goals were, together with Carmen Stadelhofer, to remember women who have passionately, sometimes all their lives, campaigned for equality and today, unfortunately, have largely been forgotten. The women whose biographies we researched lived mostly in the 19th and 20th century. And we created a homepage in various languages about our results because our project soon gained international interest. As part of European projects, we made friends and acquaintance with women groups from several European countries. And so we were able to compare the developments in women's emancipation in different countries. In one of the projects, we followed our curiosity about what is hidden behind the female names on street name signs. In our city of Ulm and the neighboring city of Neu Ulm, it's just divided by the Danube, the two cities, we discovered 52 streets with female names against 400 streets that were named after men. For this interesting research, which was full of surprises because supposed names of saints, for instance, such as Maria or Otilia Strasvit, turned out to be deserved well of female citizens. We published a successful book about 10 years ago already that is now out of print in all bookstores. In the meantime, some streets have been added in new development areas of our city. Among them, a number of them have been named after men and so far only three new streets have been named after women, only three. I just wanted to show you the book which we published already 10 years ago. You see the picture of one of uh, very famous women. It's Afra, uh, which is represented as a figure in the church in the cathedral of Ulm. And there is also a street named after her. But there are 52 uh, women named uh, in the streets. As a result of our, our working group is again dealing with the task of researching the biography of women who have made a name for themselves in the city's history. We are already in contact with the city administration to make suggestions. The women's office and above all those responsible for naming streets in the urban area have promised us their, uh, their support. And so, I, so I see you examples of the women's streets in uh, our city, in our town, which we, we were researching the biographies. And so at last, you can see our group. Well, yes, you can see it in the time when we were researching the names of uh, the female street names uh, in our city. Thank you very much for your attention.
Thanks a lot, Kitty. It was uh, very yeah. interesting and very, uh, you know, I, bravo, I can see bravo. That, you're, that you're very, very passionate about this topic. So am I, and so is Oksana, as we heard already. And um, I really hope that you succeed um, uh, in talking to the city and we will see, at least in Ulm, uh, many uh, streets that are called after famous women. Thanks a lot. Um, and we will go to our next... Yes, uh, Victoria, I would uh, like to ask to all the others from the other towns in all the Danube countries, have a look on your street name and have a look uh, if there are women named in these streets or uh, if there are women you know and you have to uh, explain to us or if there are names of women you don't have any idea why they are named. It would be of interest to see uh, how it is functioning in other countries, but in ours it has been that a lot, a lot of uh, streets had been named by men and a very few by women and we like to change this and so we made this um, research and it would be of interest to see how it's functioning in Kluge or in Galatz or in uh, Ukraine or in uh, Bulgaria if it's the same or are you stronger? Have you strong women? And the strong women are represented in name streets. This would be a very interesting question for all of us. So have a look. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carmen. Uh, I think maybe it's an idea for a new project. Who knows? For some new international project <laughs> yeah. that we can make. Uh, thanks a lot. Um, and uh, as I said, our next contribution we have been looking for this person for a long time. <laughs> she submitted her Kodanek contribution um, and then she won a competition, but we haven't heard from her. And now we found her and we're very happy to, um, to greet here Nicoleta Doaga with the song Et, et Um I hope I pronounced it right. I think you will correct me if it's wrong. Um, this can be translated as forgiveness and is also dedicated to a very important topic of protecting um, the own language. And I think you will uh, tell about it uh, more in detail. So Nicoletta, the floor is yours. We're happy that you're here. Thank you very much. So today I will sing the song Gertare. Uh, it is a song written by um, um, Grigori Viero and the couple Yvonne and Donald de Todorovich who left a big uh, cultural treasure in our country. So uh, they dedicated this song um, from all the, um, the Moldovans out there um, to, to uh, ask for forgiveness from their own mother tongue because at that time they couldn't protect it. So I think it's a very actual topic um, because um, till this day we couldn't uh, restore, restore it properly. Um, and now I think I should sing it. <laughs> Grayule, Este zvorul de lumină din care mă înfirip A mea frunte se închină, părintescul lui tău chip Graiule, nemilos ți-a fost destinul, iar noi nu te-am apărat Te-a rănit barbar străinul Te-a rănit barbar străinul, te-a rănit barbar străinul, sfitei te-au supărat, graiule. Iertare, 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 tu grai în 
lacrimac, ce iar ai o drăslit, iertare, iertare, iertare. Că nu te-am apărat, că nu te-am ocrotit. Eu fia tora cam frică, eu pe tine te aleg. Fie pâinea cât de mică, numai tu să-mi fii întreg. Graiule, nemilos te-a fost destinul, iar noi nu te-am apărat. Te-a rănit barbar străinul, te-a rănit barbar străinul, te-a rănit barbar străinul, fii tăi te-au supărat, graiule, iertare, iertare, iertare. Tu grai în lacrimat, ce iar ai o drăslit, iertare, iertare, iertare. Că nu te-am apărat, că nu te-am ocrotit, iertare, iertare, iertare. Tu grai în lacrimat, ce iar ai o drăslit, iertare, iertare, iertare. Că nu te-am apărat, că nu te-am ocrotit. So wow. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Bravo, Nicoleta, bravo! Super, super! Mulțumim mult de tot! Salutări din Timișoara! <laughs> Nicoleta, thanks a lot! Um, I'm really glad that today we not only have songs, but we have re really the performances, because we can, he we can see the emotions. I think for all our singers today, um, you really, you're really passionate about it, and we really appreciate you know, the, um, the way you perform it. It was really, really beautiful. Nicoleta, thanks a lot for Thank joining today and for performing this beautiful song. Uh, and now we're coming slowly to our last act uh, or one of the last acts uh, that we have. Um, it's a very interesting presentation from Ukraine, from Chorkiv. Um, prepared by a sister of Oksana Arkaeva, Irina Zelnikovska. She's a choir director in um, a church, an Orthodox church uh, in Ukraine. And she, she couldn't be with us because she has some technical problems with Zoom. But uh, she made a very uh, beautiful video, especially for this session. And um, now we will look at it and maybe if Oksana wants, she can say a couple of words um, after the video. Привіт із Західної України. Мене звуть Ірина. Живу в мальовничому краї на Тернопілі. Дуже люблю співати. Скільки себе пам'ятаю, робила це з раннього дитинства. Ще маленькою дівчинкою Ледь навчилась говорити, ми з мамою співали українських пісень. Розпустили кучері дівчата, і две лише брови для краси. Тільки ти роби, як вчила мати, не обрізи русої коси. Тільки ти роби, як вчила мати, не обрізи русої коси. Хай вона росте усна та пишна, всім зрадливим хлопцям на віру. Я тобі моя чарівна 
завишне, сам троян де в коси заплету, я тобі моя чарівна вишне, сам троян де в коси заплету. Я музикант, навчаю дітей вокалу в музичній школі, але найбільше полюбляю хоровий спів. Уже більше 20 років я є ретентом в Українській Православній Церкві, яка багата своїми традиціями. Співаємо на різні свята, це і недільні служби, і обряди, вінчання, похорону. Церква прикрашена вишивками, багата своїми рушниками. Дуже важливо, щоб хористи, одягаючись на службу до церкви, одягали свої вишиванки, які вишили власними руками. Вся моя родина дуже співуча. Все музикант грає на кларнеті. Брат також грає на різних музичних інструментах. Сестра – відома оперна співачка Оксана Аркаєва. Хоча ми далеко одна від одної, але коли збираємося разом, співаємо українських пісень. В Україні дуже популярні старовинні, обрядові пісні, весільні, колискові, ліричні, танцювальні. Всі історичні події нашого народу знайшли відображення в українських піснях. Just a couple of words if you unmute yourself. Well, I'm very happy that it's worked out because um, we tried to establish a Zoom session, but it somehow it doesn't work there in, in short Kiev. Um, very bad connections. Um, so she sent me a video and I'm translating it in English and put it together and it's worked very well. So as you can see, it was a very, very musician family. Uh, we are spread all over the world, uh, in US, in UK, in Israel, in Germany, in uh, Russia, in Ukraine, but we keep together. It's a big family and we have uh, some ancestors who uh, are also quite a theater and uh, artists artists artistical people as well, or artists people so um my what how do you think how old do you think my sister is what, what would you say guess mm, <laughs> it's hard <laughs> do some of you have guesses stand you raise your hand just, I saw. <laughs> she, just, she just became she just became 60 years old and looks incredible i think yeah <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> looks and sounds incredible and I'm very happy so thank you for this opportunity she was uh, she was very happy about it and uh, put a lot of uh, heart in this video and uh, the, the sound the sound is good but the quality is not that good but it's okay maybe next time we can do better <laughs> mm -hmm. yes, I hope you liked it and uh, you you saw what you saw on this video which is very important to what I said before um, she is in Ukrainian Orthodox Church, not in Ukrainian Catholic Church. It's a very small church in Church Kiev, which is like a, a wooden church. And you, as you could see, it's all embellished with this very traditional Ukra Ukrainian towels that are being embroidered by, by people. And she had um, a shirt on, which had the very special colors, a black and red one, which is very typical from, for the region. So if you have questions, you can, if you, you can ask me, but I'm very happy. I hope you liked it. <laughs> yeah, I see that uh, people are nodding. We really did like it. Thanks a lot. We really hope that we can meet her, maybe per Zoom, maybe we can try to help establish connection. 
Um, and maybe I already she have an idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> maybe if she wants, she can participate in the Kodanek project because I think it's a, it's a good a good moment to remind you about our Kodanek uh, website. If um, maybe Ellie can show the the website once again. Um, we talked uh, previously about the contribution of Nicoletta Doaga that won, and then now you see it here. Um, wow. That won a prize. Um, if you um, see the website kodanek.eu, uh, if you go to this website, you will see different cultural treasures. Now you see one of, uh, of um, uh, Nicoletta. You can, as you see, switch languages. English, Romanian, and German. This is the description of the cultural treasure. Uh, what is it about? And um, the video you can also see here. If you scroll down, you see the video. For those who don't know the project Kodanek, is, this is the project to make visible um, the cultural treasures, the personal cultural treasures of people along the Danube. Um, and um, the project uh, has been um, existing already a year, so you will be able to, um, to contribute with any cultural treasure you have in mind anytime, because the project is going on uh, till the next year. And we will announce next year maybe new competitions, so we will keep you updated. And if um, some, um, some new, con if you have ideas for some new contributions, please uh, visit the website and let us know and we will help you with translation if it's uh, needed. So uh, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot. And now I received the message from our Bulgarian colleagues that uh, Veska and her uh, granddaughter wanted to say just quickly some words. Um, is it possible now to put them in spotlight? Hi everyone. Hello. Hi there. Whoa, hello. Hi to all of the countries and participants from around the Danube. We are, wait, let us focus our camera. Great job. So this is my fiance who has been fixing everything around my grandma's house. Hi there day. guys. <laughs> hello. Congratulations for uh, the wonderful organization that you have. This is actually a uh, a very nice coincidence because the first time we came to visit uh, Baba Veska, uh, <laughs> she was having the same conversation with all of you. And, we, and we told everyone about uh, this. Europe. <laughs> and we are very proud of uh, her participation in, in, in the organization that you're having and how advanced all of you guys are with Zoom and keeping, keeping in touch and, and making the sure that alive. everyone is, is uh, entertained and involved. So uh, Baba Vesco wanted us to announce that we have our uh, engagement just uh, a few days ago, and uh, <laughs> we have been keeping with the <laughs> we have been keeping up with with the organization and, and with the rituals. So yesterday evening she she welcomed all both of us uh, in a very traditional way. Uh, I think exactly as as they showed you in the video. So uh, we just wanted to, uh, to, to say hi and uh, to, to thank you for uh, keeping Baba Veska involved in the organization and uh, ma making it uh, so wonderful. Yes, it's such an incredible work you, you are all doing. So thank you for taking care of, of my grandmother and making, us, making her as entertained. And this really is uh, an amazing initiative to keep up the, the tradition. So very, very proud with the work of the entire organization. And um, it has been really a pleasure to be observing uh, everything you're, you're doing. And we genuinely are sharing it with all of our friends and they're highly impressed. There you're is famous. This, there, there is a picture <laughs> of Baba Veska on the, on the chair. Talk, talk, talking to you and it went viral across our friends. They were like, what? <laughs> it's, it's really impressive and hands down to, to all of the organizers uh, and, and special... And to Carmen uh, Stadelhofer, yes. uh, special, special thanks and greetings. On and our to end. Victoria as well for, for organizing uh, all of the Zoom uh, conversations. So keep up the good work. Uh, stay healthy in those uh, times of pandemic around the world. And uh, yeah, 
keep smiling and having fun. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> thanks a lot, Boryana. And what's your name? Georgi. Georgi. Oh, very, very nice. Welcome. <laughs> And uh, congratulations. congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have a happy life together. <laughs> uh, don't argue. Just have a lot of patience and a lot of happiness. We wish you all the best. We're very happy. We're, thank you for all your kind words. And Veska is one of the most sunny people I know. And uh, once I That's even true. talked to her in Russian, it was very, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a cutie pie. She's the best yes. grandma in the world. So very, very proud of her Aww. as well. Thank <laughs> you. She's very active. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the evening. Enjoy the rest of the evening. And thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you. Bye-bye. And congratulations bye -bye. again. Oh, this is such, you know, every time there are nice surprises. <laughs> what <did you laughs> yes. Know? Okay, now uh, we're um, almost there. Uh, the last, um, we promised you a song to sing together. So I will pass to Carmen to introduce it. Okay, so I said it's very difficult to open the floor for a very simple song after these big uh, songs and uh, expressive uh, singers and uh, the very how to say, excellent singers. But nevertheless, it was Siegbert, he is with us this evening. He learned us a small song and we translated this song in all uh, languages. And uh, we tried to, how to, to, to pronounce well and it was so difficult. But nevertheless, we tried it and we had reactions from all parts that it's very funny to, to have a song, a common song, and to be able to sing it in different languages. And so we will try this evening to repeat. We have to repeat because to pronounce Romanian well, Bulgarian well, and ah, it's really difficult for us. But perhaps also it is difficult for you to pronounce it in German. So we will see. So first we will uh, read the text, and then I will ask Sigurd to give me some help for the song. But it's really simple and Oksana and all the others, excuse us, it's not in comparison with your very, very nice songs. It's just for give us a feeling to be together. So, uh, Victoria, can you uh, insert the text? Yes, uh, Ellie and Leonard, please insert the text. <laughs> Nada. Here you see, this was the German version and the English version. And uh, Siegbert, perhaps you can read uh, the text in German because you was, had been the beginner. The text is simple and very short. Uh, alle fangt an, alle fangt an, jeder singe so wie er's kann. Uh, Alle, all begins, all begins to sing, and every people should so uh, sing as he can. That's uh, first, the text. Uh, first, uh, we will read all the German text. We will read and important, words. it is and a canon because uh, after two bars, the next can begin. Yeah, mm -hmm. alle fang an und the next. Alle fangt an. Jeder beginnt yes. nach einer Zeile. Uh, but Siegbert first, we will read the text. Wir werden den Text erstmal lesen. Ja. Because it's easy for us in German, but for the others, oh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> so, alle fangt an. Alle fangt an. Jeder singe. Wie, so, wie er es Kann. So, let us read together. Alle fangen an. Alle fangen an. Jeder singe so wie er es kann. Not so easy here. Huh? Let us repeat. Alle fangen an. Alle fangen an. Jeder singe 
So, so let us let us try. If you are together online, because we have not the same speed, and so some of us are quicker than the others. Uh, so I don't know if you hear it, but uh, I heard mm -hmm. that a lot of you contribute, and this is fine. Mm -hmm. And so we try to pronounce it in English. Let us, ah, Stan, you can make the speaker. We have a really English gentleman here in our group. He is Stan? Was he? He's in? <coughs> Any more? I don't know. So I will say, let us begin. Let us begin. Everybody thinks as he can. Let us let us begin. Let us begin. I think to read but together but it's very difficult to sing together by on Zoom. So but you read the text and we will go over to the I will ask Anna Giao to read it. I will ask Anna to read it. I to I will ask to read it. I will ask Anna to read it. I Anna, can you read it in Romanian? Awesome to say it in Romanian. Ani, 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 Fiecare să cânte, Perhaps we read for because for Romanian is very difficult, really. Ana, can you read? mai multe cuvinte. Ana, can you read very slowly? Da. Toată lumea începe. Toată lumea începe. Începe. Fiecare, fiecare să cânte așa cum poate. Cum poate. Fiecare, fiecare, cânte, să cânte, acum, poate. Așa cum poate. All Romanian uh, being on the session are singing together. They know Romanian and we can hear first. Yes. Yes. Cântăm? Yeah. 
It seems that you are singing nice, but uh, with this difference of speed, it's uh, even colder. But uh, let us try it together, nevertheless, because it's for to pronounce this very wonderful language we don't know. So, yeah, you begin. Yeah, Ya lumia in chepe, 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 And now I think in Bulgarian it's more difficult for us. More. It is difficult, but Bulgarian is much more difficult. So only two words: Sitchki, Sitchki, da Sitchki. The second, the second word is zapiavat. 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 Exactly. Za pjava. Za pjava. Oi <laughs> So when we come together next year, we hope so a lot that we will come together in Ulm. Did you see it? Did you see it? <laughs> But perhaps time one can sing and the others here. But we have also a Serbian version. Timos Love, you are here? Yes, yes, I'm here. So let us Uh, here's a Serbian version. Okay, I will read it. It is Svi počinju. Svi počinju. Svi počinju. Yes. Svi počinju. Svi pevaju. Svi pevaju. Koliko ko može. Koliko ko može. Koliko ko može. Koliko ko može. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because it's just close to Bulgaria. <laughs> And uh, Oksana, uh, you can translate in Ukraine or sing. Uh, if you just make a screen bigger, because I hardly can see it. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh. Do you prefer the German? Can, can I have a German? German? Yes. <laughs> 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 I don't speak all these languages. Oh, that was fine. <laughs> But we will try to to learn it in the different languages and uh -huh. also get a Second strophe is Danube, and uh, we have to how to, to to learn it and to train it, and uh, then when we will see us, it uh, will be nice to have so common theory of songs. <laughs> so, uh, thank you to all all the actors. It was very interesting, but it was also very emotional to hear you all this afternoon, and we had so nice songs and so very patient singers thank you but also um, we thank a lot for the presentation of the wedding traditions and it was very nice to see not only in uh, bulgaria and in ukraine but to have uh, 
new couple, uh, just <laughs> <laughs> really fine. And best wishes for all of you, but especially for this young uh, couple and uh, for uh, Veska and her family. We will uh, meet us in two weeks with other presentations and as we said every time and say it, we will say it also today, if you have an idea to present something or if you know someone who is singing, who is playing an instrument or presenting a cultural treasure, let us know because we will have a common feeling of togetherness uh, being together by, by this kind of sessions and also by other sessions. And we will inform you in some days that we will start all small sessions about literature and culture mm -hmm. or learning courses because we have some of you had been uh, taking part in the English conversa uh, conversation course with Stan and Ushi speaking English a little bit and others in the French course with Raymond and Marie-Noël uh, trying to speak a little bit uh, French. And so we are open of different kinds of um, virtual encounters and uh, doing together. And we have learned also in a session how to make these nice roses, uh, handmade and so on. So uh, reflect a little bit with what we can do together to know each other better and thanks for all uh, having um, given us also some information as Dana did about the country and um, we will go forward. In this session it's more cultural by activities from different persons but in the smaller sessions we can learn also a little bit uh, about uh, the countries and the traditions and uh, take part in Kodanek because uh, Kodanek is really a good base for uh, to be in touch and to uh, know more about each other because uh, we realized at the beginning that we have no idea really, we have no idea uh, what is uh, not only the tradition, tradition but also the, the emotional part in all this um, doings. And I think uh, we learn more and more. And I thank Victoria for the moderation. And I thank Ellie. Ellie, it was a good start. Thank you, really. <laughs> and, uh, next time it will be easier. And now you will have <gasps> it's done. Thanks to Leo. Give us a help. And uh, so um, let us end. But uh, Victoria, if I remember well, you will ask some um, feedback. Uh, yes, exactly. Thanks a lot, Carmen, uh, for these nice words. We will end, uh, we will say goodbye and end the session. But before you go, um, we will ask you to give some feedback through the Mintimeter tool. Uh, Ellie will post right now the link to the chat uh, that you can uh, click on. And then um, you just give a small evaluation. How did you find our session? Um, how did you find the songs? How did you find the presentation? And how was the moderation? Um, if you can uh, share the screen right now, so uh, we have an idea of how it looks exactly. So, um, and you will see in real time how it changes as we vote. Oh, someone already said that they like it a lot, like everything. And then you will see the, um, you see those uh, lines, so to say, changing as more people will vote. So you either can click on the link or you can go to uh, www.menti.com and use the code, but I think link is faster. So uh, you can get, oh, you see that four people have already voted. That's interesting. So uh, if you want, just before you go, uh, click on the link, give us some feedback because this is very important for us. And I will say goodbye uh, for a month, I think, because um, I'm probably not going to be there next time because I'm going to be celebrating my birthday. There's something nice, but then and I will be back it. and we will see each other. And I'm looking forward very much to the come together sessions with you. So um, 
Have a great end of the weekend and we will see each other very soon. Thanks a lot to everybody for uh, their feedback, for their contributions and for just being there with us. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.